Merry Christmas and welcome to Gladys Cake Kitchen. In today's video of my Vlogmas series, I am remaking this fault line Christmas themed cake from a year ago, hopefully with improved editing skills and a different perspective, highlighting a few things I could have done better. Hopefully you are inspired to try this simple fault line design while also avoiding some of the mistakes I made. For this four layered cake, I am starting by applying some ganache over a cake card which has been stuck onto a cake board as a surface. The first layer of cake is placed and the cake is filled with buttercream. The process of filling and layering is a repetitive process that sees all four cakes stacked together with buttercream in between. For better results, the layers are observed for alignment ensuring each cake layer is placed perfectly over the other and any buttercream sticking out from inside the cake is cleaned out using an offset spatula. After layering, the cake is left in the fridge to set and returned later to be crumb coated. Crumb coating in cake decorating is a simple practice of applying a layer of ganache or buttercream to seal in all the crumbs to enable a polished cake when subsequent layers of ganache or buttercream are later applied. For this cake though, crumb coating serves as an outer surface over which an edible printed image will be placed before the fault line is created. To achieve this, ganache is applied to completely cover the cake after which a scraper is used to scrape the surface to remove any excess ganache. When sure the surface is semi-polished, the cake is left in the fridge to set and return for the top to be trimmed off using a sharp knife dipped in hot water. This is also a quick tip to achieving sharp edges on a cake. With crumb coating done and the cake looking partly polished, a Christmas themed edible print is peeled from its plastic sheet, trimmed to size and wrapped around the cake. And this is one of the mistakes I should have avoided. Without realizing initially, icing sheets will absorb moisture from the surface over which they are placed. Hence wrapping the sheet directly over the crumb coated cake meant the cake eventually absorbed moisture from the cake and the ganache which led to the sheet bunching and warping when the cake was done. You'll see this when the cake is completed but a good tip to avoiding this happening is to create a barrier between the surface and the print by rolling the icing print over a thin layer of fondant first before applying this to the cake. This is a lesson learned after the fact but I have a few tutorials on this channel using edible printed images which you may find useful linked in the description box for your convenience. With the edible print wrapped over the cake it's time to apply some red colored ganache to seal the print and also create a fault line. The ganache is applied using an offset spatula dipped in hot water which makes for easy spreading of the ganache. Wrapping the edible prints directly on the cake wasn't my only mistake though. I hadn't taken the time to secure the prints properly to the cake so while supplying the ganache I had trouble with the prints trying to peel off which I managed to get over. And for mistake number three let's just ignore the fact that there was a gap between the two prints. Well, mistakes all aside, the ganache is applied smoothly and any excess is scraped clean. This was a repetitive cycle of adding and scraping until a clean polished cake was achieved. Once the cake surface was complete, the top of the cake had some ganache applied to fill up the top and a scraper employed to cleanly gather the ganache on the top of the rustic finished cake whilst also leaving the cake polished. The cake was left to set before it was returned to be hand painted with edible gold paint to highlight the fault line. The top edge of the cake is also painted before it is finished off with some Christmas themed decorations such as these flowers added to these artificial roses. The costliest mistake though was when the cake was done having wrapped the sheet directly on the cake without a fondant barrier. The cake was kept refrigerated for 24 hours before it was given to a friend. As a result, the sheet soaked up moisture from condensation leaving the print warped which is seen here as noted earlier. I have since learnt a lot and having repeated that since but the cake was paired with some themed cupcakes which is displayed here and talking about cupcakes, my vlogmas episode 1 to 3 covers making edible prints into cupcake toppers and in episode 2 I hand you a full simple easy to follow vanilla cupcake recipe which is worth trying out especially if you're a beginner starting on this adventure. The video is on screen for you to tap and see. Go watch and learn something new and I'll see you on my next video. Thanks for watching.